Lote Tungiri, Kameli Soijima, and standing out among them, I know you like the number three. Talk about Seru a little bit. How about these guys? Chileans. Story of the day. For me, Philippe Blanchet, Silvio Ignacio. Some experienced heads who are leading some youngsters into uncharted territory for Chile. But Japan, the cherry blossoms will be in the way. Well, the captain for Chile is Felipe Brangier, wearing the number one jersey and celebrating today his 29th birthday. A robust song this morning at breakfast for the captain. And it would be a great birthday present for him to win this quarterfinal and advance into the semis. But he's already gotten a few presents. An early one yesterday when Chile beat New Zealand for the first time in its history. And there is the captain, the birthday boy, who squirms away from Japanese contact, gets the ball back. Tori Alba. Ignacio Silva. Silva. Support out wide. Bounce pass to Brangier. Doesn't bounce up, but he goes down for it instead. Tori Alba. Fernandez to Silva. Silva off the ground. Sets it back. Good contest at the ruck and so Chile across halfway Tori Alba Tori Alba goes through dragged down by Japanese defender looked like Lote Tungiri Silva laid back for Vershai Vershai finds the handle somehow looked like a ball bounced around a little bit there's number 12 that is Benjamin DeVitz, and he scores his fourth try of the tournament. Well, it's been all chilly. They're so busy. They're asking questions all over the place. Ball pops out of the side of the scrub. Ruck. And watch Sarah in defense. Just completely baffled. Completely wrong-footed. Benjamin you like DeVitz the adds to the three he got yesterday. Yeah, you got to love the footwork of DeVitz. We saw him score some great tries yesterday. And I, I got to think, Gareth, the opponents of Chile have to start every game by maybe underestimating <laughs> these men from South America, and then they quickly learn that they, they can't do that. No question. I mean, New Zealand yesterday, you know, there's no excuse for the Japanese here today because it was one of the great days for Chilean rugby. But I think they were a very balanced side. They all seem to know their roles. And some of their basics, like these kickoffs, have been very impressive, although Japan does secure it. The referee says it was knocked on by a Japanese player. Well, so the break now for Chile once again. And Chile's still trying to take their claim for the World Cup of Sevens. Held in San two, Francisco. Yeah, yeah, as you mentioned, two spots left from South America, and likely to come out of that region is this team here, Chile. Uruguay, perhaps fighting for a spot as well. Perhaps Colombia, they're getting Arge stronger and stronger. Argentina, of course, pre-qualified through their performance last year. And there is the try score. De Vitz, once again, works the corner, sets it back for Fernandez. Torre Alba out to Versailles. Silva breaks a tackle, carries on, but knocks the ball forward. And now, first chance for... No sweeper. Sorry, Brian, Japan. I thought he was going to chip there. That is Noguchi. Noguchi scored four tries, started this second day as the second leading try scorer behind the American Stephen Thomasine. And there's Tungiri, goes way out wide. Tackle again, though, put in by Chile. Nothing automatic against the men in red. That is Shinomiya. Dishes to Tungiri and still brought down. Feisty defense. Ball on the ground for number 12. 
And that is Motomura. And finally, Japan on the board. Chile making them work for it, though. Motomura scores in the corner. Difficult conversion to come. Yeah, there's some big hits out there. Some of the big Fijian men, Sojima and Seru combining. Ngiri. Finally, it gets out wide. And the Chileans don't quit. Motomura does just enough to get in the corner. And there's certainly, some tired Chilean yeah, and, bodies out there after this. And certainly no, no question about the commitment about these Chileans. And if anything, the rest of the field is going to leave this tournament with a healthy respect for this Chilean team. Japanese conversion sails wide. So two-point advantage for Chile at this stage. Condors. Would love to get in their first ever semi-final. So again, the winner of this match draws Australia in the semi-final. Michael Shinomiya with the kick for Japan. Taken by Ignacio Silva. Silva drives. Pumps the legs, then sets it back. Through the hands of the captain, Brangier, to DeWitz. Brangier there to do the cleanup work. And there's number 10, Uros. Chile play with probably more width than any other team in this competition. They're literally sideline to sideline when they're set up after a breakdown like this. Good job digging the ball out. It goes to Fernandez. Fernandez takes a poke. Runs into two Japanese players. And the ball stolen by Lotte Tungiri. Noguchi. Oh, but stolen by Toriyama. Toriyama, does he have the pace to finish? Well, he's got support, if nothing else. No, he's going to take it all the way. Toriyama scores a second try for Chile. Right place, right time. Well, Tori Alba is faster than that. He is exhausted. Watches his ball pops up. He gets a kind bounce off Tsujima and just finishes. Yesterday he ran down an Ufi with consummate ease. Here he's really struggling because they were puffing from that last stint on defense. But Tori Alba, what a great finish from him. <laughs> Well, so far, it's a good birthday for Felipe Brangier as the conversion attempt by Oroz, yet to come. Plenty of distance, and it's good. Everything going Chile's way right now. 14 to 5 at the half. We'll step away and be back for the second half. Fourth and final quarterfinal of day two of the Silicon Valley Sevens. Chile surprising a lot of people here at this stadium. And it's because of good heads up play like that. Well executed take by Felipe Brangier the captain for Chile. And it's Vershai, the elder Vershai. The switch back inside to Brangier, finds a Ross. A Ross slips a tackle, sets it back. Tori Alba. Try score. Goes to Fernandez. Fernandez tries to find Tori Alba once again. Instead, the ruck set. Brangier. Ball moves left. Big pass over the top would do it. Instead, it's the wraparound. Brangier somehow finds the handle. Two Japanese defenders wrestle him to the ground. Ball comes back. Now it's Uros. Uros looks to go wide and then comes back short side. There's numbers there on the short side, and they're not needed. It is Vershai in the corner. Pedro Vershai. 
Well, I think the Chileans overcomplicated that a little bit, but they got there in the end. The start of the second half, so important in the sevens match. Good decision to go back to the short side. And Rashad just steps out of one tackle and rolls over. Excellent start, because I was going to say, Bright, if there's one threat to this Chilean attack so far, it may be their fitness levels and their depth of bench, because there's some tired Chilean men out there. We noted it. Not only the excitement yesterday, but playing three big games. And I just wonder if they're going to be able to hang on here. They don't have as many men to call upon on that bench of the quality required. Well, and, and one of their best finishers injured his shoulder yesterday, tore his labrum. That's Julio Blanc, and he's resting. Said he could have gone, but he's waiting because it's important for him to qualify for the World Cup. So he'll get healthy for some January qualifiers in Mar del Plata. But they're effectively down to 11 men. As Edmundo Alfos below us starts to use his bench a little bit, there is Martin Vershai. And Martin Vershai comes onto the field. He'll replace his brother, Pedro. So perhaps a risky decision, but starting to manage his resources. This only a quarterfinal, of course. Ideally, a semifinal and final to come for Chile if they keep on this incredible form. Japan, time to get back into this one. Need to score next, I would say. So, ball knocked forward by Chile. Well, Japan should really be pushing the tempo here. A little slow to get set up. They should be forcing these Chileans to play. Well, you know, it, you know, you talk about the fitness and seeing Chile wilt a little bit, but I would say that it's Japan really that has shown more signs of fatigue and it may be because when you talk to the head coach Damian Karuna a lot of these players are just coming off their 15th season the break in their season and so maybe not quite in seven's shape plenty of talent there but do they have the legs and the lungs to stay on this field with Chile especially with the emotion that Chile is playing with so Michael Shinomiya out to Motomura. Motomura scored the try early for Japan. Their only score in the first half. Playing the ball on the ground. That's Chile. A little bit of extracurricular stuff there as Seru finds contact. Then Shinomiya finds more contact. Sets the ball back. That's Noguchi. Noguchi finds number 10. That is Hayashi. And Tasai Hayashi scores a try for Japan 19 to 10 important conversion to come significant that he scored out wide and the Chileans almost gave it up at the end but wanted to keep him out wide so this conversion is more difficult so Shinomiya with the conversion attempt coming and because Hayashi scored in the corner as you mentioned, Gareth Reese, a difficult task for Shinomiya. Oh, and almost finds a way. <laughs> well, normally from that angle, you play the hook, but yeah. instead it's the slice. Almost went over the crossbar. But as a result of missing that conversion, it's still two scores that Japan will need. That is Grafulic in for Chile. Oh, the break coming for Chile. Versailles looks inside to number six, Lucas Westcott. And then look at DeVitz. DeVitz turns on the Jets once again. And DeVitz scores his second of the game, and that is a dagger for Japan. Four, 
Well, Westcott looked up and saw DeVitz on the end. Happy to see him because he's got afterburners. Look at that. No match. Every time it looks like Chile might be knocked back, they respond. Are they the team of destiny here at the Silicon Valley Sevens? Well, Chile, the Cinderella story, yeah. the shoe fits, and it is still going on for this Chilean side. Felipe Brangier, happy birthday. You, my man, are going to the semifinals as the captain of the surprising Chilean Sevens team. So the risk of uh, resting a few of those senior players like the aforementioned Brangier and Tori Alba has paid off. Japan came within striking distance, but couldn't finish it off. When I think you talk about the bench earlier, Gareth, and, and everybody who's come on the field for Chile has added significant moments from the bench, and that's what you can you need to hope for as a coach. If you put your starting seven on the field and then it starts to get weaker as you roll players off and put subs in, then you're really a vulnerable team. But I like what the bench for Chile's done. And kicked uh -huh. into touch. That is Metuase. And the result, Chile going to the semifinals of the Silicon Valley Sevens. Feliz.